everyone there. Hello, hello. I hope everyone can see me today. Actively Amber here. We're going to get started for our asana and affirmations. So if you have water, if you <laughs> need anything near you, oils might be nice at the end for savasana. Um, if you have them, you can use them. I'm not going to use mine today. Um, so let's go ahead and just start on the mat. We're going to start standing today. So if you'll just start feet or shoulder width apart, bend the knees slightly. Pelvis, instead of tilted back, is kind of tilted forward a little bit. Shoulders up, back, and down. Hands shooting down, fingers towards the earth, palms towards me. Your head, there's a little balloon on there, just kind of pulling you up. Remember the knees are soft. And let's just take a few breaths here. We're going to breathe in through the nose. And then an audible out through the mouth. <sighs> We're going to do a few of those. Inhaling in through the nose. Exhale. <sighs> Couple more. <sighs> Good. Nice deep inhale. Now we're just going to start with our ujjayi breath, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Inhaling long and deep. Exhaling long and deep. Close your eyes down for me. Let's think about what our intention is today while you concentrate on your breath. Set your intention today. What do you want to get out of practice? I'm going to read you an affirmation that you can read with me if you like. Um, I will pause in between so that you can read it with me. Affirmation today. I am a confident, powerful, strong woman. Let's repeat it again. I am a confident, powerful, strong woman. And again, I am a confident, powerful, strong woman. Last time. I am a confident, powerful, strong woman. Beautiful. Intention set. Breath work. Let's concentrate today with our ujjayi breath in through the nose and out through the nose, the whole practice. It will just help you to flow a little bit better and help to detox. So that's always um, the best case scenario. All right, let's Wiggle our fingers a little bit, loosen it up. Just kind of go back and forth for a second. Opening the hips, figure eight if you like. Nice and gentle, just waking up the shoulders and the hips as we go. Knees, you can hear them, mine pop. Let's reverse. Can you go the other way? This is the hard way for me to go. I have to go a little slower. You always find one way is a little easier, right? Just flow, waking up all the joints in the body for our practice today. Good. We're all going to meet back at neutral here. And while we're here, let's inhale up to the sky, taking that inhale breath through the nose. Reach, 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 reach. And then exhale, bringing the arms down. Inhale up. And we're going to be mindful. We're going to reach with those arms. They are actively reaching for the sky. As we exhale, we're going to push down like there's weight underneath our palms and we're pushing strong arms down not loosey-goosey we want active mindfulness inhaling up reaching for that sky exhale there's something underneath your palms you're pressing against molasses 
making you go super slow, getting those shoulders worked out, getting some heat built up in those. Bend the knees, inhaling up, reach, reach, reach. Holding the breath and exhaling, pushing through the molasses slowly, actively. Good. Let's go ahead and we're going to stay in mountain pose, knees bent slowly or slightly. Inhaling up. This time, let's interlock our fingers together. So interlock them and you're going to press them to the sky. Stretching out those shoulders. Press, press, press. Inhale. As you exhale, lean gently to one side. I'm going to go to my right, which is going to be your left. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, we're going to go to the other side now. Stretching out. If you can, look underneath this armpit. Just stretching out those sides, intercostals. Inhaling up. Exhale, bring the hands behind your neck and just open up, let your head fall back as you finish that exhale. Inhaling back up. Guess what? Exhale to the first side again. Repeating. Looking underneath that armpit if you can. Inhaling back up to center. Exhaling to the other side. Looking through that armpit here. Inhaling up. Exhale, the arms come down behind your neck and just open up. Squeezing those shoulder blades together. Inhale, bring it back up. And exhale, pushing through the molasses. Super slow. You should feel some warmth already in these shoulders, so just roll them around a little bit for a second. Just bending one knee, rolling one shoulder, bend the other. Just kind of letting it loosen out. Nice heat right here in the shoulders, right? So we're just bending and rolling. Beautiful. All right, back at our original mountain, we're going to inhale it up. This time, exhale, we're going to swan dive all the way down. Your head's the last thing to come down. Let it come down. Bend those knees nice and deep, and then let your head fall down. We're not super warmed up right now, so more than likely you can't straighten your legs. They may be tight. So just bend them. Let your chest sit on them. So I'm going to turn so you can see. As I come over, I'm almost like in a chair position, but not quite. But I'm just letting my chest just hang on my thighs, letting my head hang, shaking it out. Arms are down and relaxed. Make sure the finger palms are not on the mat, it's the back of the hands. So I just like to kind of rock back and forth, sway side to side. Hands will come on your shin. You are going to straighten your legs at this point and half lift. Bringing that head up, letting all that blood that was just rushing to the head flow back down, giving you a break. And then as you exhale, we're going to try to just forward fold, bending the knees if you need to again, since we're not warmed up. Just shake it out. Bend the knees deeply and let's inhale. Reverse swan dive all the way up, back bend, hands at heart, bring them down, bring your toes together, heels apart, hands in Anjali Mudra, so they're pushing together, they're not loose, we want the elbows up, kind of pushing those two hemispheres together, and just take a few breaths, bending the knees slightly, inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Just letting all that blood from being in our first inversion flow back down. Beautiful. Release the arms. I'm going to step out a little bit more than shoulder width. So 
normally I'm shoulder width, I'm just gonna go just a little bit further out, not quite into a full straddle, but just a little bit wider. And we're gonna inhale, bending the knees, coming up to the sky, crisscross the hands. And as we exhale, we're gonna come down, bending the knees, and we're just gonna crisscross the front of the knees. Inhaling up, crisscross, exhaling down. Try to change up which hand goes in front if you can. We're gonna repeat this a few times. So inhaling up, crisscross, exhaling down, bend your knees, cross in front of your knees. A little sunflower going here for springtime. Just remember inhaling on the way up, exhaling on the way down. Beautiful. Good. Just warming up the body. We've already worked on the shoulders a little bit, so we're continuing. Now we're adding in those hips and thighs and knees. Just trying to make sure. Good. Now the next time when we come down, let's come all the way down to the ground and crisscross touching the ground. You're bending those knees, inhaling up. As you exhale down, bend those knees even deeper, almost into a squat, crisscross in front of the ground. Working with those hips a little bit more. Beautiful. Just keep working it. Head comes up and back when you're up. As you exhale and come down, look down making your head go with your movements, adding on another layer. Beautiful. Last one. One more time down. Inhale up. Exhale, hands at heart. Feet come back together. Bend the knees slightly. Active arms. We'll take a couple breaths here. In and out the nose. Good. I'm gonna move to the front of my mat, grab some water. I'm gonna go ahead and move my feet shoulder width apart, hands together, your Anjali Mudra. If you guys remember from all the mudra classes, this is our favorite mudra. The right and the left hemisphere are pushing together, activating both sides of the brain. Take a couple more breaths here. Just remember that intention for today. Let's inhale coming up. As we exhale, I'm gonna step my right leg back so that I can see you guys into warrior one. Now in warrior one, shoulders, hands, hips are all facing front. The back leg is popped open slightly, but the hips are still facing forward. Your knee is nice and bent. You don't want it popping in. You want it popping kind of out towards your pinky or third toe. Just settle into it. You're pressing weight into the front foot, but also to that back foot right there. Arms are still up. Good. Looking up if you would like, reaching for the heavens, grounding down into the earth. And let's exhale, bring those arms down into cactus or butterfly. So they're active, they're not down low. They're like that T. We're just gonna hold them here for a second. Taking a breath or two. And then inhale, and as we exhale, let's move together, straightening the leg in front, arms come together. 
okay? So elbows and palms are coming together. Then as we inhale, we're gonna bend that front knee back into our cactus arms. And repeat, exhale, straighten the front leg, bringing the front arms together. Inhale, open, exhale. Inhale, open. Together. Then we're going to drop our arms. We're going to bend that front leg again, inhaling all the way up to the sky into your original warrior one. Exhaling, you're going to open into your warrior two. So that back leg is now going to pop open. My hips are no longer facing forward, they're facing out. That front leg is still facing forward. Knee, I'm going to try to press it towards that third toe if I can. Arms are out and you're going to look over this front arm. Bending into it a little bit more if you can. Good. Settle in. Pressing all the weight into this foot here, into this one. If you need to, you can come up a little bit or you can lengthen into it. If your arms get tired, you can rotate your palms. We're gonna inhale, reverse, dropping that back arm, front arm comes up, reverse warrior. Looking up, exhale, come back to warrior two. Again, inhale, reverse, exhale. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and bend this front arm. We're gonna set it here on the thigh, bringing the arm up. You can leave it up here if you would like for side angle. Or you can bring it all the way over. Just twirl that pinky down. Looking up through the armpit. Oh, my back adjusted really well. <laughs> Hopefully you feel that too, where it's like Good. I'm gonna bring my arm back up. I'm gonna straighten my front leg. Just settle into my triangle, looking up at the sky, taking a few breaths. If you get dizzy or have any neck issues, you can look straight ahead, that's fine. Good. We're gonna bring this arm that's up here down and around. We're gonna bend our front knee Bend that back when we're coming over to kind of straddle here. So if you want to, with your hands down, or if you need a block or a chair in front of you, if you can, we're going to try to straighten those legs and just see where we can end up. Hands come down. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, try to just release that head down. If you need to, you can bend those knees slightly. You may be too far apart if you can't straighten them, so you can squish your area a little bit more, or you can go out a little bit more. It's up to you. You can also hold the back of your legs, your ankles, for more stability if you need, or you can put your hands on the mat. Shake your head out for a second. We're gonna half lift, so we're gonna put our hands in front of us here on the mat, and we're gonna inhale coming up. Straighten that back. We're raising that head up to our heart level to let all that blood flow back down. And then we're gonna exhale, bringing it back down. Every time you're upside down, blood is flowing in a not so normal direction, which is great. And then when you half lift, it refreshes and just rejuvenates all that blood that goes back down. So you can do that a couple times, half lift up, exhale, back down. Inhale, half lift, 
Nice deep inhale, exhale. Good. Now we're going to bend our knees and we're going to start to slowly turn the other way. So now, with the other way, I want us to come up into warrior two. So this front leg will be forward, the back leg is at an angle. I'm going to come up into my warrior two. Beautiful. So get yourself kind of situated where you need to be in warrior two, and we're going to start back at our triangle. Arm is up, front knee is straight, or leg is straight. I guess your knee can't be straight in a way, but looking up, triangle, just kind of reversing our flow from the other side. Then let's bend this front leg, arm comes on it, arm will come over, either pinky will twirl down, or you can leave your arms straight up if you like. It's up to you. If your pinky is twirling down and you're reaching over, you're opening up this intercostal, stretching out, working those back muscles right there. Sometimes we don't get those as well. So it's always nice. Inhale, we're gonna move this arm, come back up. All the way up to reverse. Exhale, back to warrior two. I have my palms facing up right now. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, warrior two. Beautiful. Let's take this back arm. Inhaling, bringing it over. I'm going to shorten my stance a little bit, coming into my warrior one. So arms up. I'm going to get into the correct position so that arms, shoulders, hips are all facing forward. The back leg is popped open a little bit. Front one is facing forward. Knee is bent. Not pointing in, but pushing out. Okay? Looking out as we inhale. Exhale. As we inhale the next time, bring those arms down into the cactus arms, pushing those shoulder blades together. Good. Then as we exhale, we're going to straighten that front leg, bringing the arms together. Hands together, elbows together. Inhale, bending the front knee, opening up into cactus. And repeat. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, open. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, open. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Last one. Inhale, open. Exhale them together. As we inhale to open this last one, we'll raise our arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, bring your hands together. Step together up front. Samastitihi. Toes are together. Heels are apart. Knees are slightly bent. Hands are Anjali Mudra. Make sure you guys can see. And let's take a few breaths here, in and out. In and out. May need to take a water break here, that's fine. Hey, Quinn. I always like to take a little water break in between. I'm gonna come back to my other side here. Let's just inhale it all the way up. Exhale, let's swan dive forward all the way down. Just kind of relaxing, letting it flow. Hopefully you can straighten your legs a little bit more, but if not, you can keep them bent. Just sway back and forth. Shake your head. Yes. No. Up and down, back and forth. Inhale, half lift. Exhale. All the way down. Good. We're going to go ahead 
from here and just step back our right leg into a high lunge. Hands are going to frame on either side. And we're just going to settle in for a second, pushing back that back heel so that we can feel the opening. You can feel it stretching through your hip area. You can feel the weight in this front thigh. Just trying to open up those hips. Can you step back into plank? So hands are underneath your shoulders, toes are underneath your heels, and you can drop your knees if you like here into an incline plank and we'll slowly start to go down to chaturanga. And then once we get halfway, we're going to let our bottom stay up, our chest will come down, bottom's the last one to come down. And we'll situate ourselves on the mat, feet are relaxed. But I like to kind of press the thighs together a little bit and the glutes. Hands will come right next to the chest. Thumb is right along the nipple line. Elbows, tuck them in. Forehead on the mat. Take a breath here. Inhale and exhale. As you inhale, I want you to slowly pull up with your back. I do not want your arms bent, so, or you keep them bent. Do not straighten them out. We want them bent, nice and bent. And as we're ready to exhale, we'll just wave it down. Like our little cobra, putting our forehead back on the mat, taking a cleansing breath here, in and out. Then as we inhale, let's raise it up. Head comes up last, and then exhale it out. Swing back and forth, head on the mat. Good, one more time. Inhale it up. Stretching out that back and exhale. Head down on the mat. Beautiful. Let's take it back into child's pose. We're going to start knees extended on the outside of the mat. Toes are together. Hands are out and you just relax into that mat, letting your elbows, your shoulders, everything fall down onto that mat. You can put your forehead on the mat or you can do the side of your face. Just breathe into it. Focus if there's something on your bottom, kind of pressing you down. So if you need to move your hands back a little bit to kind of press that bottom down. If you have a friend with you, it's nice. They can come and put their hands on the side of your hips and kind of press down and give you an assisted stretch. It's very lovely. My mother likes that one. When she's practicing, I'll push down a little bit and give her that extra stretch. Keep breathing here. If your face was turned to one side, you do need to turn it to the other side. And take a couple more breaths here. Slowing it down for a second. I'm going to go right back into it. We're going to come into extended child's pose. So you bring your toes to, toes are already together, sorry, knees together. But your toes, you're going to curl. Put all the weight into them. Hands are out in front of you. Your head is down. With this extended child's pose, we're going to make sure our elbows and shoulders are not on the mat. They're in the air. Hands are out wide, gripping into that mat. Toes are gripping. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up into our down dog as we inhale. So without moving forward, we're going to stay in our child's pose and we're going to inhale up. So inhale up. Slowly straighten out those knees. You can adjust your stance. You want to be pressing down so that your head is kind of in between the elbows. 
Hands are shoulder width apart. Feet are shoulder width apart. Knees are as straight as you can get them, but your weight is all in the toes or the, the pad of the foot, not the heel. You want your heels up. We're gonna walk the dog. So we are gonna push one heel down, but we're gonna bend the other knee to give us that extra ability. Take a full breath on this side. On the next breath, bend the other knee, push the other heel down. Take a whole breath. Now you can press one heel down, inhaling, and then press the other one down, exhaling. So they're still slow when you're walking the dog. You're not super fast, you know. We wanna actually feel that nice stretch. Any stretching should be nice and slow. When it's fast is when you can hurt yourself. Just breathe. Good. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Now earlier we went into a lunge with our right leg back. So let's raise up our left leg, straightening it, then bend it, and let's swing it forward into lunge. It was a little louder than I thought. <laughs> so now, I feel like that's the same leg, isn't it? Okay, if it's the same one, come back, raise up the right leg, that's right. And then we'll bend it and come forward. I was trying to make sure we did opposite, but I already forgot which leg we did. This feels better. I don't feel like I've stretched this side out. So now my right leg is forward instead of back. Just letting it stretch for a second. If it's too much, you can lower that back knee down. Let's go ahead and inhale, bring both legs up together, but keep the knees bent, just kind of in your forward fold. Sway back and forward, hands on the shins. We're gonna half lift, and then exhale, forward fold. Just swaying back and forward. Trying to straighten the legs a little bit if you can. We're keeping them bent. Bend the knees deeply. Arms come out. Inhale up. All the way to the sky. Exhale. Hands come together at heart center. Take a couple breaths here because we've been upside down. So we just want to make sure we can kind of let the blood flow come back down. Good. Take some deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the nose. I'm going to take a hydration break. Sorry, talking makes me get a little bit more dry mouth than normal. So I apologize. Just deep breaths in and out. You'll find the more you're in down dog, I feel like it always helps my sinuses to kind of unclog, things move around. So I love to be in down dog and then you come up and you just feel like everything is just shifting and moving and going back to where it should be. So I love it, it's very cleansing to me. So hopefully you guys find it that way too. I'm gonna step back to the middle of my mat And what we're going to do is we're going to inhale it up. And you can step back with the right leg into almost a warrior one. Not quite. We're going to be a little short. Short stance here, okay? Not quite the warrior one. The front leg, though, is nice and bent. Take a breath in. And then what I want us to do is start to kind of come up on those back toes. 
and we're going to start to lift the toes up. As you do that, we're going to hinge our arms down. Just hinging, hinging, hinging into a warrior two, or warrior three, I'm sorry. Front arms are out, back foot, you can point. I prefer to flex, just to pull. You can also bring your hands at heart if you feel like it's too much of a balance or your shoulders. But this front leg, make sure the knee is bent. Finding my spot to stare at, my drishti. It doesn't move. You can exhale, bring the arms all the way down. Come up to three-legged here. Standing splits. Exhale, bring them down. Forward fold. Just sway for a second. Inhale, half lift. Taking a deep cleansing breath there. Exhale. Forward fold again. Sway it out. We're going to bend our knees deeply and inhale up. Reaching out. This time as we exhale, I'm going to bring my left leg back. Not quite into a full warrior one, but close. Bending the front. Taking my breaths, making sure this front leg is bent. Starting to put all that weight into this front foot. Start coming up onto your toes. As you inhale, you're lengthening and straightening. And then we're gonna exhale, coming all the way onto the toes. And then start to hinge. Keeping this base leg bent, and then we're going to flex our toes. Trying to get to a straight line, but of course you can also, hands at heart. Finding your drishti spot to stare at, take a few breaths. As we exhale, drop the hands down, standing splits, raise up that back leg, just a little bit higher. Exhale, bring them together, forward fold. You can straighten the legs if you like here. Keep them bent. Shake it out. Shake your head if you need. Wrap your hands around your elbows if you need to frame it and just sway a little bit stronger. Drop your arms. We're going to half lift. And then when we're ready to forward fold, I want your hands to kind of scooch to the back of your knees. And as we exhale, you're just going to gently slide those hands down towards your Achilles, towards your heel. Press yourself closer to your knees. You can bend them or you can straighten them. Shake the head out. Good. Release the arms. Bend the knees. Inhale up. All the way up to the sky. Exhale, hands at heart. Again, let's take a couple breaths here, inhaling and exhaling. Just inhaling and exhaling through the nose, letting all that blood flow back down, rejuvenating our body. Beautiful. Inhale back up. Reach with a small back bend if you like. Exhale, swan dive down. Sway, shake it out, whatever you like. We're gonna slowly bend our knees, coming down into monkey. So we're nice and bent, head is above the heart, hands are on the mat by your toes. We're going to slowly come onto our knees and we're going to be on 
stands on the knees. So I'm going to actually face you guys. If you need some extra support for your knees, you can put an extra blanket underneath them. Um, just because, if, especially if you're on concrete or hard wood, you may need that. Um, I'm on carpet, so it's nice, so I have extra padding. But if you guys need it, just get you something extra to put underneath your knees to support them. Let's go ahead and inhale up. I'm going to go ahead and straighten out one of my legs. So I'm going to do first my left leg, straightening it out. The toe, I'm going to actually curl it back. Exhaling my hands down, kind of getting in the right position. I'm going to be on the side of my foot here. Inhaling up. As you exhale, same arm, left arm, will go with my left leg. And I'm going to slowly reach over. And remember, when you reach over, twirl that pinky and look underneath that armpit. See how far you can stretch. Feel it from your hips all the way up. Feeling the intercostals just breathe apart. Stretching, stretching. I love that one. Beautiful gait. Inhaling, we're going to come back up, both arms. This time we're going to exhale, bringing the right arm down, the opposite arm, coming down to the mat. This arm, you can leave up, or you can move it around to the back, just stretch just a little bit further. Pinky comes down. I'm going to lower my head, look back, let my neck adjust. Looking back at my hand. This one I'm stretching all the way through, but it also reaches the front abdominal muscles, which is a nice stretch. Inhale, arm comes down, back around. You're going to come up to hands at heart. And let's come back to stands on the knees. Good. Take a cleansing breath. Inhale up. Exhale, bring it down. Hands at heart. Now let's take out our right leg to the side. Again, <clears throat> this one will be straight. We're not going to have our whole foot on the ground. It's going to be the side, just kind of giving you some balance. Inhale up. Right leg is the one that's out. Right arm will come down <clears throat> to meet the leg. And we're going to lean over. Twirling the pinky under, looking underneath this armpit, opening it up. You'll feel a little bit of a stretch in the abdominal area since we just stretched that area, but also down the side. Inhale, bringing the arms back up. Reach to the sky. Exhale, this time we're bringing the opposite arm down, so left arm will come down. Reach to the ground. You can stay right here. But I challenge you to bring that arm, open it up. Feel where you feel the stretch the most and stop there. <coughs> Twirl the pinky down. And this time, instead of looking at the armpit, which you can, I'm going to just let my head fall back and look back at this arm. Just breathe here. When I'm ready, I'm going to look back straight ahead, bring this arm back down, bring it around, hands at heart, and let's just sit down. Beautiful. Hands are still in your Anjali Mudra. We're going to just take an inhale, exhale. Beautiful. Inhale and exhale. I'm going to turn around so that you guys can see. We're going to thread the needle on here. So we're going to gently bring our toes back to almost like you're going to go into child's pose. But we're not all the way down there. Hands are out in front of you. Toes are nice and curled. Take out this right arm. And as we inhale, we're going to come all the way through. Setting the right shoulder down. Bringing the left arm back out and just putting the right side of my face down. 
stretching out this shoulder. You can do this in active child's pose or you can do it in the relaxed child's pose with the knees out. And I'm going to bring that arm back out. So both are out. Relax and kind of into my child's pose almost. Taking the left arm out. I'm going to thread it underneath the needle here. Setting my left shoulder down. Left side of the face. My right arm comes out. Just to stretch it out some more. Looking through this armpit here. to inhale bringing it back <clears throat> and let's just lay on our belly right here where we're at hopefully you guys can see me over here <clears throat> on your belly forehead on the mat this time hands are next to you we're going to move them we're going to push ourselves up slightly we're going to bring our elbows down underneath our armpits hands are out and I like to kind of rock back and forth and ground myself, my thighs into the mat. Hands out. And you'll start to look up. Very elegant as a sphinx would. It's like the Egyptian sphinx watching over. Grounding myself into my thighs, into the earth. And then relax them. You feel the difference. Pushing the thighs into the earth to feel the ground, and then we relax. Let's look over to our right side. Take a deep inhale and exhale. Let's go back to center. Inhale, exhale. And let's look over to the left side. Inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling back at center. Beautiful. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and slowly start to lower ourselves. And I want us just to roll onto our back. So you're just going to roll gently onto your back. Nice and easy. Now... <clears throat> I'm just stretched out. What I would like for us to try is to get into fish pose. So sometimes this one's a little harder to maneuver, but bring your hands back kind of almost underneath your um, bottom, kind of tucked into your back, and you're going to press yourself up. You're going to come with your elbows, tucking them under, slowly walking them under you so that you're tucked under. Legs are out. What I want you to do is you're just going to start to lean your head back. Just opening up that throat, opening up that chest, just leaning back. Into a fish pose. Keeping those front feet pointed, not flexed, we're going to point them. slowly close off this throat. Looking forward and then slowly wiggle your hands back out and come all the way down. Good. Let's bring our feet to the mat <clears throat> and I want to bring our knees up to our chest. Hugging them into you. Just kind of rock them back and forth. Just a little massage. Beautiful. We are going to do a few 
twist here at the end just to make sure <clears throat> you can feel that release. So with your knees still up here, bring your arms out to a T, and let's just start kind of windshield wipering, letting them slowly go one side, then slowly to the other, slowly to one side, and then when they go to the other side, let's let them drop all the way down. Your knees are together. Shoulders stay on the mat. So if your shoulders want to pop up, don't let your knees go as far. You may need to put um, your hands underneath. You can stack your hands if you need to, or make it into a fist and put it underneath your knee. But we're just gonna let this stretch happen. It's gonna happen all throughout the back here. We've got our lumbar up to our thoracic. You can feel it. And with your head, whichever way your knees are pointed, if you'll look the other way, you'll get a cervical up through the neck stretch. If you have neck problems, you can keep straight, but if you like to get an extra stretch, I call it the wash rag, where you just feel like you're just wringing out that wash rag. It's one of my favorites. Take a full breath here. And then we're going to inhale, bringing the head back up to center and the knees back up here. <clears throat> Hugging them back to you if you need. We're going to go to the opposite side. So now I'm going to go to the opposite side. And again, if I feel like my shoulder's popping off or my legs won't go all the way down, I can put my fist underneath and kind of hold my knees. Otherwise, you can let them go. You can feel the wash rag kind of loosening up that back and if you're able to with your neck you want to look the opposite way and if you have neck problems remember you look straight ahead that's fine we want to protect any issues you have just take a couple of cleansing breaths in and out through the nose my back adjusts on these all the time so <clears throat> Love it. Inhaling, bringing that head back up to neutral. Look ahead. Knees come back up. Hug them into you. And then let's just set our feet on the mat. So your feet are on the mat. <clears throat> Knees are still bent. And I want you to windshield wiper here. Just go back and forth from one side to the other. Arms will come out in a T. Just kind of back and forth. And I do want you to start to lower them to one side. So I'm gonna to come to the side closest to you guys. My knees won't stay directly together, but I wanna make sure my feet are still touching the mat. Feet and shoulders still on the mat. Knees have turned just a little bit to one side. And I can feel it slowly. It's a little bit lower than the stretch earlier. It goes down into the sacral in between the glutes right there and just you can feel it. Again, look the opposite way if you can for an extra wash rag, wringing out. Beautiful. Inhale, we're gonna bring those knees back up, feet are flat on the mat. We're just gonna exhale going to the other side. The knees don't stay together, they kind of track apart, but the feet are still touching and the shoulders are still touching. And you start to fill it up in between the glutes into the sacral area. And look the other way, opposite way that your knees are. Beautiful. Two of my favorite twists that always I love to end with. We're gonna inhale, bringing them back together. And let's exhale one leg at a time, just straightening it out. We're gonna move into Savasana, <clears throat> but I will walk you through it. If you're able to just lay back and relax, go for it. If not, walk through it with me. We're gonna clench our hands together like we're making a fist. We're gonna bring our arms together like we're making 
um, a bicep curl. Head will come up. You're tightening that ab, tightening the glutes, tightening the thighs together, pressing them together. You're tightening every muscle you have. You're even making a fur furrow with the face, like your brow, making an ugly face. Just mad. Toes are curled. We're tense. This is how you are when you're tense, right? We're going to take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, release every muscle. Let them fall. Just let them melt into the earth. Starting with your forehead, make sure it's nice and relaxed. No angry furrow on it. Your mouth is open slightly. Tongue is not against the top of the roof of the mouth. It's relaxed. Shoulders are nice and relaxed, hands out, fingers curled in gently. Your bottom. If you feel any tension, a lot of times in the lower back or bottom, you can just tighten that, squeeze your glutes together, and then release. And it helps to relax that a little bit more. Your legs should be nice and relaxed. Feet are so relaxed that your heels are down. Your toes just kind of fall to the side. We're going to take a cleansing breath in through the nose, out through the nose. And then bringing it back again, inhaling in through the nose. And we're going to exhale loudly through the mouth. that air out when you exhale. Ah, good. Back to just normal inhaling, exhaling, normal breath. Just take some slow breaths in and out. And this is our relaxing time to think about the sun shining outside. Clouds moving around, big white fluffy clouds, and it's not too warm, it's perfect outside. You can smell maybe the rain is coming in, but it's not here yet. And all the clouds are still fluffy white, but off to the distance you see the darker clouds. And just concentrate on what you see now in the white fluffy clouds and try and shine. Birds are out, they're singing, dancing around, and going in and out of those clouds. You can just watch them for hours. Just enjoying the beautiful nature outside. You can see the squirrels running around, caterpillars crawling, getting ready. nature, so powerful, so beautiful, so confident. You're breathing normally here. I'm going to bring you back, or you can stay here if you like. I'm going to bring you back by wiggling your fingers and your toes. Slowly bringing your feet to the mat so that your knees are bent and rolling over <clears throat> into a fetal position. Slowly, I would keep my eyes closed at this point. Inhaling as you try to push yourself up into a seated position. And come into whatever seated position you like. Find that position, hands at the knees, beautiful. Let's inhale up, hands come together, 
bringing them down. I'm going to say my affirmation again for you. Say it with me if you can. <clears throat> I am a confident, powerful, strong woman. Say it again. I am a confident, powerful, strong woman. I am a confident, powerful, strong woman. Thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it and love seeing you guys on here. If you will all bow with me and we will say namaste. Thank you guys for joining. Hopefully you enjoyed Actively Amber. Um, we're here on live Sunday mornings. Thank you guys.